you All right, hold it. You're good. Okay. We're going to go over some of the work this class did on the board and share it with the people who couldn't be here. We're going to start with Luke. He did number 14 right here. Luke, you want to pop up here a minute? And, sure. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be wondering uh, where you got some of your values. This is number 14. Can you tell us, Luke, how you determine what A was? Um, well, A is the bigger number, and that's A squared, so the square root of 72 would be A. Well, that's not too hard. How about B? Um, B would be the square root of 54. So A and B are really right there? Right. Okay. Uh, what? The formula C squared equals A squared minus B squared, that's how you found C then? Yep. So is, <coughs> where did you get the E equals C over A? Um, that was in the book, and then... I just plugged in the square root of 18 over the square root of 72. Well, that seems pretty simple. It is. Very clearly laid out for us. Thank you for your work here today, Luke. No problem. We're moving up now to uh, number 20. Quan did us number 20 here. Uh, number 20 had this equation for starts. Quan, uh, can you point to a squared? Uh, a squared is a bigger number, so that's 38. Of course. B squared? It's 13. All right. So your C squared is A squared minus B squared then. So is C 5 or is C squared 5? Uh, C, C is 5. Is he right on that? Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. He already square rooted it. Okay, so yeah. C is 5. And then E is equal to C over A, so that's why you did 5 over the square root of 18? Yeah. Nice work. Nice work. Yeah, so if C is equal to A squared minus B squared, I mean C squared is equal to A squared minus B squared, so C is square root of A squared yeah. minus B squared. That's nice. That's perfect. Good job by the Quan. Thank you, Quan. Thank you. Number 11 here is by Billy. Billy's done some nice work. Billy, uh, they gave us the foci, okay. negative 6, 9, and negative 6, 3. How did you use that to find K and C? So here foci was minus 6 and minus 6, so yeah, I thought yeah. it was H is minus 6, and then there oh. is 9 and 3. I used K plus 6 is 9, and K minus 6 is 3. <coughs> so it kind of... Uh, so that's enough to find K and C? Yeah. So Very good. And then you just put them in their respective spots? Yep. That's what I did. That's nice work. Very nice. Thank you, Billy. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Good job. Um, Jaden's going to help us here with a little bit of uh, thinking on number 12. On number 12, they gave us covertices negative 13, 7, and negative 3, 7. So he has those on his graph here. But he's going to explain now how he found the vertices. Were they given, Jaden? Uh, no, they gave us the major axis. For well, that doesn't really tell you where to put the vertices, does it? No, but it helps figure out where they go, I Oh, guess. sweet. Tell us how, about how you did that. <laughs> Now I can't remember how I did it. Uh, so it's up, down, and then vertices of H plus. Well, they did tell you how long the axis was, didn't they? Yeah. That's All right. 16. Start with that. 16 for the length of the major axis? Yeah. So, so then you knew they were above and below each other, 16 oh, apart. Yeah. And then they'd be halfway between negative 13 and 3, which is negative 8. So you have so these two points is enough to know where the center is? Yeah. All right. And then from the vertices, we could figure out what H was, which is negative 8. And then we just plugged it in down here. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right, good work, Jaden. Nice job, nice job. Good thinking in behind that. This unsigned nice piece of work here is the ever humble Nate Van Persson. Nate, they gave yeah. you vertices and <coughs> co-vertices and foci? No, they gave me this equation. 
equation. Oh, they only gave you the equation. Yeah. Well, how did you get from one to the other there? Okay, so I got H from this. It's a negative 4. Oh, yeah. Got K right there. Fair enough. C is A squared minus B squared. So that's 9 minus 4. Square root of that is square root of 5. Oh, sure. Okay, and then A is square root of this. Yeah. B is square root of this. And I just... So everything you need equation. was findable then, huh? Yep. So you can fill out all of that once you know H, C, K, A, and B. Very nice, and that makes it quite graphable too. So there's your work from second hour class. Hope you enjoy the quality there over and out.